For the creators of tomorrow, Bradwell presents the Substance Mobile Printer, or SMP for short. This is the latest prototype featuring the Substance Printing Technology. Please take the SMP. Let's learn how we reclaim an item made of substance and then print an identical copy into a new place. This is the gateway to your potential, and this is the key of determination. As the first step, please reclaim the key using the SMP. The reclaiming procedure recycles the substance material and stores a digital blueprint of the item in your SMP library. As long as there is enough substance in the SMP, you can print as many copies as you like. In order to print, you need to activate the SMP printing mode. The preview's traffic light color scheme indicates if the SMP is able to print the item or not, or if more substance is required. Now, stay in printing mode, point the SMP to the keyhole in the gate and move towards it. As you can see, the SMP's advanced algorithms will suggest valid printing positions. Press the print button to print the key into the lock. Congratulations, you have unlocked the gateway to your potential. Please go to the next section. Welcome to Cats or Dogs. Bradwell's fun and in no way judgmental personality test asks you kindly to print a total of six cats or dogs on the colored platform areas. We need at least one of each animal printed for our patented bias weighting. So pick and print. Shelly the cat and Troy the dog will do the rest. This is refined Bradwellium, or substance brick, ready to be reclaimed by the SMP. No blueprints from one of these, sadly. For security and copyright reasons, some substance items have their blueprints locked. Your guide interface will let you know if a substance item is locked. The SMP is able to store multiple blueprints. Change the active blueprint with the Change Blueprint button. Your SMP can print onto most flat surfaces. For your well-being, the SMP decides if it is safe to print an object in a... Great progress! Only three more to print. Well done for completing the Bradwell personality test. Go you! Want to know what's in your mind? Check out the screen nearby for the results of your personality test. Good luck on the next section. Troy gave an encouraging bark, and Shelley was, well, you know what cats are like. When you're ready, please go to the next section. Welcome to the rotation station, where things often go sideways. For this test, you simply need to recreate the pattern from the right panel. Where is the blueprint, I hear you ask? Bradwell R&D proudly presents the blueprint drive for sec... Well done. Now recreate the pattern on the wall to complete the test. To rotate the item, press the rotation button. Once you're happy with the rotation, press the print button to print. Well done. You have near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Near-perfect rotational problem-solving skills. Feel free to quote that on your favorite dating app. Welcome to the most important part of our induction experience, Bradwell R&D's Lifetime Unilateral Non-Disclosure Agreement. Use your SMP to create the circle of trust. By doing so, you agree to the Bradwell Non-Disclosure Agreement. Once the circle of trust has been established, the door to the path of knowledge and discovery will open itself to you. Warning. Irregularities in the NDA section detected. The use of the SMP is not recommended. Irregularities? Um, that doesn't sound good. If you're stuck, I'm here, just one photo click away. Oh, that's not good. The trust circle's half buried. The system's not gonna let you go ahead without doing that step. What else is around there?
Bradwell's NDA is literally the writing on the wall. The door to the next section will only open if you agree to the Bradwell non-disclosure agreement. No need, thank you. I know it too well. Accidentally recorded myself reciting it in my sleep one time. You, you didn't need to know that. Yeah, rather big, the hole. Maybe they won't notice it, though. We could hang some drapes. It'd be fine. Your hesitation to agree to the Bradwell NDA has been noted. Okay, I have to find a way to override D14 without you doing all the circle stuff. D14, D14, where are you D14? Induction control program, that's what we need. Is this taking a long time? Maybe it just feels that way, but, oh, here it is. Ta-da! I have near perfect door opening skills. Now does that go in pros or cons on a dating profile? All right, back to these elevators for me. If you need me again for that door, just holler. Welcome to the Archive, where you'll find Bradwell's work and patents over the course of its 60-year history. Please enjoy. The induction will continue through the next door. Welcome to the penultimate challenge. How do you feel? Sick of your voice. Fantastic! For your next test, we have everyone's childhood favorite. The floor is lava. To cross, you will need to reclaim the specially designed traversal block. Spoilers, it's a plank. As you can see, the traversal block, like all substance objects, has incredible properties which may defy you. Well done. Now use the traversal blocks to cross over to the other side. Oh, and remember, you can rotate substance objects with the SMP. I mean, I'm not trying to say you forgot, I just... Anyway, good luck crossing the lava. Please proceed to the next area. Look at you, using the traversal block as intended. Doesn't it feel great? And don't forget, if it doesn't fit, rotate it. Okay, I think you need to use the SMP's rotate functionality to print some blocks sideways. Another successful crossing. Marvelous. You are so close. Falling into the lava now will be such a huge disappointment. Lavaly job. Well done. You are now safe. Unbelavable. My jokes are better than that, right? Bradwell Electronics has had an exciting and, other than a brief period after the singing toaster incident, noble past. Every Bradwell employee should know and take pride in Bradwell's history. Your final task is to connect to the past in order to step into the future. Hey, the SMP's rotation functionality could be super useful in this section. You know, just... Throwing it out there. Everyone knows about Bradwell Electronics, but sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right?
Fun fact, Bradwell's history is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it. Don't worry if you're stuck, we have all the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. Ah, the timeline puzzle, a classic. It's basically playing dot to dot, so? What came first, the Brutalist building or the other Brutalist building? The dates you need should be in that room. I don't remember them all off the top of my head. Shelley and Troy believe in you. Uh, for now. Well done. Onwards to the final room. Congratulations, Dr. Sega, and welcome to the Breadwell family. Some employees found that the cat chose them and not the other way around. Either way, congratulations. You've shown that you have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the loyalty to contribute to Bradwell R&D and help secure the world's future. Now, head to clean water and energy research via the lifts in the security office. Your Bradwell buddy, Dr. Chowdhury, will meet you in her office to complete your induction experience. Please note, exit door is inaccessible due to unforeseen circumstances. Guess we'll have to find you a detour.